welcome to What's Happening in the Motherload with Sarah and Sarah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're back again to let you know all the cool things that are going to go on in the next week. Yep. And again, we say this every week, it seems like, but there are so many cool things there that are going really on. There really are. And it seems like mm -hmm. we just keep finding more and more and more. Yeah. Which is awesome. More and more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at the week of April 28th through May 5th. Mm -hmm. um, and then a little bit of here and there um, future dates that mm -hmm. kind of plan ahead for. But yeah, um, yeah so I still can't believe it's May. It's almost. May. It's almost <laughs> May. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so we are finishing up Trickster Month mm -hmm. with April Fools. So I have one more story for you. I had to like, I really had to scrape the bottom of the barrel <laughs> <laughs> for this story. Um, but uh, it's kind of it, it's kind of relatable okay, to what I'll take you know, to to what we we do today, and it's about jury duty. Okay. Yeah. So well, this should be fun. <laughs> you know, if if you live up here long enough, you realize that every other year you're going to get called mm -hmm. for jury duty because the the pool is so small yeah <laughs> a full-time residence that you automatically every mm -hmm. 48 months or tw whatever it is no not 48 no every two years whatever that is <laughs> i think it's 48 it's i think 48. you're right i think it's 48 right. months <laughs> right. yeah so um so they didn't like serving in jury duty in the mining days either. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, and this yeah. is when they had a lot of drinking and then guns. Of, yeah, guns, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Gonna be, all sorts of stuff. Not gonna be a wise tale. Is no, it? no, no. It's it's actually kind of a funny tale because um, again it's from Horace Snow who wrote um, who was a native of Bridgewater, Massachusetts, and he left his home in eighteen fifty three in search of gold. And he is um, one of he's left a lasting legacy because his letters were kept that he oh, wrote cool. back home. Mm -hmm. So um, they're called the Dear Charlie letters because he wrote to his friend Charlie. What is Charlie Fitz? Charles Charles oh, that's E. Fitz. Really cool. Yeah. So they're called the Dear Charlie letters, and it really does show what life was like back in the mining days, right? Yeah. So so it's Horace Snow again. We're going to be talking about. Apparently, he didn't ever want to do jury duty, and neither did many of the other miners, because you don't get paid, like, yep. you kind of don't lose. get paid now, right? You, you lose a day <laughs> of getting paid. You do, you lose a day of getting paid, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like they notified you, right? So, yeah. what would happen is, if they needed a jury, they would just, come they would just go and... Knock people's doors? They went oh, into the no. mining camps. They went into the mining camps and just said, you, you, and you, right? And if, uh, you know, obviously, if they figured out that you were an American citizen, right? Mm -hmm. and the foreigners didn't have to participate. They had their own issues. <laughs> Uh, not of their own doing, I might add. The sheriffs were kind of interesting back oh, then. Oh, man, I can't imagine. So what would happen, um, on this one particular day, Snow and three other miners were um, in the mining camp store. Okay. And apparently what would happen is that they would see the sheriff coming, in general and then what just part and they would run <laughs> like really they would run and then what else did they do let me just get it because it was so funny um and they 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 literally just dropped their shovels and they would refuse to give their names okay. because it was by the names that they could figure out whether they were an american <laughs> citizen or not and could serve jury duty uh, so Horace and his uh, mining buddies were in a, uh, this store. Mm -hmm. The sheriff was coming. They knew why he was coming. And so two of the miners ran out the back door, okay. and the sheriff ran after them, and Horace ran out the front door, and they're all screaming, Don't tell him your name! <laughs> Don't oh, tell no. him your name! And so it was like, you know, mayhem. Yeah. And there's shovels flying everywhere. And um, <laughs> so anyway, what happened was um, the sheriff apparently recognized Snow. So okay. he's screaming well, so that, at him, right? That's and a bad thing to be snow. friends yeah, with. Exactly. Your <laughs> Please. You're like, no, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> and he was like, okay, I got you. It's like tag, right? I yeah. got you. And then he went after the other miners. Oh, no. <laughs> and so, anyway, he ended up, the sheriff ended up with two of the four miners. 
uh, for jury duty that day, but um, they went into every camp until they had enough jury members. Oh, talk about and do and they did no, that in every single wanted. camp. Oh no! <laughs> oh goodness! So not quite a strict trickster story, but like I said, I'm I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> this, oh, the one nice thing is we're right at the end. Right we'll at the end, with so new stories new for May. Stories, new stories for May, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. So, right. but it just goes to show you how crazy it was back then. Well, I, yeah, it's really. I mean, even it's not even that far back. Like mm -hmm. the last week we talked about that was the, what nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so you're sitting there going, it's there. It's been a bizarre amount of history. It in is the motherload, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> and, and it continues. It really does. <laughs> it continues. Oh. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of cool events to get through. Yes, we do. And did you want to start us off? Yeah, I can start cool. us off. So we will start off with a play. So we have the wonderful Wizard of Oz at the Metropolitan, and that is playing um, on April 29th. So it's uh, Friday through May 1st. So it has been playing since April 22nd, but um, you can catch it. Um, yeah, April 29th. Mm -hmm. um, so on Fridays and Saturdays, it's at 7. Um, the dinner starts at 5.30 with an RSVP. Mm -hmm. And Sundays is at 2. Um, if you want to, um, any more information, you can give a call at 209-754-5555. Um, and again, that's for The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. So. Which uh, supposedly is just a great show. I can imagine. Like, mm -hmm. it's one of those things where... And you can't go wrong with it. I no, mean, you it, can't. It's, it's, it's such a classic a story, and uh, it's just a lot of fun, mm -hmm. for sure. And uh, also Steel Magnolias, mm -hmm. still playing over there at in Sonora at the Sierra Repertory Theater. And um, again, that's not for kids. It's no. only it's only for I forget the ages. I think of. they said they will not allow any children under five. Um, it looks like it's recommended okay. for thirteen and thirteen older. above. Yeah. So because of the adult themes, mm -hmm. you know, that are that are in that place. So um, that is going on as well over mm -hmm. in Tuolumne County mm -hmm. at the Sierra Repertory Theater. Mm -hmm. So and if you want more information on that, you can go, go to sierrarep.org. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm like just bouncing around here because there's just like so there's, much. <laughs> there's a lot. And then we still have the Baskerville, um, a Sherlock Holmes uh -huh. mystery at Hine and Company. Um, and that one's playing for quite a while, so you still have plenty of time. It goes until May 14th, yeah. and that's at Baker Street West. Um, if you do want more information, mm -hmm. um, you can go to bakerstreetwest.com. Um, tickets are ranging from about $28 to $20 for students and um, seniors 24. Yeah. Um, and they have a curtain call at 7 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, and they have a Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. Yeah, so... so that's yeah, really be fun. fun. And yeah. again, like we yeah. talked before, it really is like stepping back in, in time. time. Yeah, it's a wonderful venue. It, it really, really is. is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for sure. And let's see here. I think that's it for the actual plays. I think right? so. I don't have any other plays, I'm which is kind of, other. I think we're getting ready to go into a new a bunch. New I think people yeah. are mm -hmm. kind of um, slowing down a little bit, but we yeah. do have the uh, Days of 49 Wagon Train is Which happening. Which is always cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Now, and that's going until May 1st, um, and they stop at different locations. And they've yes. been going from April 27th, so mm -hmm. Thursday. Um, and then they'll go all the way up until Sunday, and they kind of yeah. go, I think they start in Dry Town, and yeah. then they end up in downtown Jackson. Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have some stops along the way. So if and you are interested in that, check them out. Yeah, for sure. And it, it is an, a really an old old wagon train yep. <laughs> with horses and wagons and and all of it oh yeah right? and They're it's very authentic in what they do it's so cool and you bring the family and it's really cool to see especially the kids like getting mm -hmm. people seeing people dressed up and, yeah and talking about it um mm -hmm. and then they have really cool events that they do along the way i think one of them was like swing dancing or line dancing yeah. um mm -hmm. at the fairgrounds so Every night's a little bit different of where they stop and then what and then kind they of do something. Yeah, they do something cool every time they do stop. So oh. that is that is very cool. And then there's actually there's actually some 
nonprofit events too, fundraisers. And one of them is for the Go Go Grandmas. <laughs> and they have a, a walkabout fundraiser on Saturday, April 30th at 10 a.m. And it starts at uh, Gold Crunch, uh, well actually they start at the gazebo in Murphy's Park and they actually walk to Gold Country Roasters Coffee Shop nice. for a little coffee afterwards. I love that. And what they do is they actually raise money for a group in Malawi, I think it is, and they help the grandmothers take care of their grandchildren. That's so cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can actually um, donate to that fundraiser by going to fundeasy.com and looking for Go Go Grandmas. And uh, like I said, they go to the villages of Malawi, which is extremely poor. Mm -hmm. I mean, amongst the poor African countries, it is one of the poorest. And uh, they help the grandmothers um, not only food and clothe their, their grandchildren who are orphans, but mm -hmm. also um, educate them as well. Man, that's a great cause. So they provide, you know, a, a wonderful, wonderful um, service for those those people. Yeah, you can donate and then also mingle with people and get coffee. Yeah, get and coffee. Then, coffee is always good. It is always good. <laughs> but it sounds like a fantastic, fantastic mm -hmm. way to spend an afternoon. Oh, for after sure. After noon or was it, what time it's was it? It's a morning. 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 It starts spend at 10. Morning. It's 10. Yeah, 10 in the morning. And then there's also... April 30th is the Raging Cajun Calaveras Festival from mm -hmm. the San Andreas Rotary, which is always an awesome time. If you like crawfish, yep, you better go out and get that crawfish <laughs> boil. Um, so 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Main Street, San Andreas. They actually close off the Main Street, That's so cool. it's just they have it for vendors and the event, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful event to go to. And so, I think the tickets are in advance are five dollars, and then mm -hmm. if at the gate it's ten dollars. So you can't really, you can't beat that. You can't. For a good you time. can't beat that. And also, it benefits the Rotary. And mm -hmm. again, Rotary is a service organization that benefits a lot of different um, people and places mm -hmm. around the world as well. So, um, so check that out at eleven after you go get your coffee and a walk in. There Murphy's you go. At 10. <laughs> then you can go to the. Uh, Raging Cajun. Mm -hmm. The Raging Cajun. <laughs> and then also, um, there is the Jumping Frog Jubilee Ooh. Exhibition Grand Opening on uh, Saturday, 11 to 2 at the Angels Camp Museum. And they will, um, it's launching the county's first exhibit dedicated exclusively to the Jumping Frog. That's and it's very cool. You walk through it. There's murals. There's information. Mm -hmm. It's just a really, really cool event. Uh, event, and also just a place that you can go and explore the jumping frog, right? Which is really neat because it's coming up on Frog Jump is right mm -hmm. around the corner, especially right around with the May corner. Mm -hmm. coming coming up quick, and to actually know how it started. Oh yeah, and yeah. who was involved with it and the history behind it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It kind of adds a whole new level. To yeah, the front it door. does. It does. It mm -hmm. does. You know, to find out. You know, it, it's not. It's not just the story. Mm -mm. You know, there's. There were a lot of steps in yeah, between to get to this point. Mark Twain and uh, the jumping frogs. I think in the early 1900s is when they first started jumping the frogs. So crazy. And who thought of that? Well, who thought it would have lasted this long? Yeah. And, and turned it into a whole into county fair. A county fair, county, uh, then that's what we're known for mm -hmm. now, right? Calaveras it's, County. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, first ever Jumping Frog Jubilee dedicated exhibition. I so, love it. Yeah. That's going to be so much fun. Um, we also have the... Um, Whiskiner? Whiskerino. There we go. I was like, I'm like, I'm going to totally it. It's a dinner and dance. It's on April 30th. Uh, it is live music by Gunpowder and Lace. It's at Frogtown, USA. Mm -hmm. The tickets are 30 or 300 for a table of 10. Oh. Um, and the proceeds go to the Junior Livestock Community and Friends of the Calaveras County Fair. Oh, cool. So, um, yeah, you kind of can help out the yeah. youth uh, live um, mm -hmm. livestock and livestock committee, and then the friends they actually build buildings out there at Frogtown, which, which is cool. Yeah. So you know, it's every little bit helps exactly. to you know make keep the community better and keep everything going. Mm -hmm. And you get dinner and music 
Yeah. And you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> and it's all about how long these men can grow their whiskerinos. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Let's bring yeah. my husband. <laughs> so some of the local guys are already they've been invested. In, yeah, they've been yeah <laughs> investing in their like you know beards oh, that's <laughs> or, funny. or mustaches. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Get the little oils and yep. pin them yeah, upwards. They do. Woo. <laughs> yeah, that's too good. Uh, talking about another fundraiser, we have the McCallum Hill Lions Club is putting on an enchilada dinner. Ooh, uh, beef enchiladas, rice, bean salad, and ice cream. Wow. Um, refreshments are at five thirty. Um, there's a bar proceeds benefits Milk Hills Fire um, Firefighters Association, uh -huh. um, and then there's the dinner at six thirty. Um, so, and it proceeds Macaulay Hill community needs and organizations. Oh, cool. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool event wow. to kind of help Macaulay Hill. Um, it looks like it is $20 for adults and kids under 12 are $10. Oh, cool. And so. enchilada feed is, is a little different. Too. It is a little and different. Yeah. You kind of get a little bit of a spice and, yeah, a little and then you got... Than you know, you normally the crawfish. And yeah, the, crab the crawfish. And the crab eat, yes. <laughs> Get a little bit of a Mexican yeah, yeah, flair. Exactly, exactly. Not yeah. that those aren't good, but it's nice to have variety. Yeah, it, it really does. is. It so you does. get the tickets; they're on sale at the coffee shop, library, or your favorite Lions Club in McCallum Hill. Mm -hmm. So, which would be fun. That is very cool. And then um, going up to actually Calaveras Big Tree State Park on Saturday uh, is a John Muir Laws workshop where you nice. learn to be a naturalist. So, oh, that's yeah, fun. Which is fun. So, you know, John Muir obviously was, you know, one of the premier naturalists of his mm -hmm. time. And this particular class apparently teaches you how to kind of follow in his footsteps, kind That's of observe nature and, and be just be there. Mm -hmm. So um, it's 10 to 12 is the introduction. And then one to three is sort of, I guess, the practical aspect of it. And it's in the Ralston classroom at Calipaveras Big Tree State Park. And the cost is $25 per person per session if you go you know, and one of them to one of them and forty dollars for both sessions. I love that. Yeah. And I mean it that's really neat to kinda hone into that because you mm -hmm. do there especially living around this community and yeah. in the mother load is we have nature everywhere. Yeah. And to actually be able to hone in on how to be observant and yep. the plants around us and mm -hmm. just kinda nature in general. Yeah. Oh it's neat. It's a neat yeah. little workshop. So. And and then there's um I always think that being a naturalist and being a poet kind of <laughs> go hand in hand. Do. It is the weirdest well, thing. They kind of do this to me. It, mm -hmm. I think that's what it is, right? Mm -hmm. To be a really good poet, you have to really observe what's going on mm -hmm. around you in many, many ways, right? Yep. So um, Manzanita Writers Press, which is our premier press up here in the Mother Lode, is doing a Poetry in the Mother Lode event. Uh, April 30th. It's actually from 2 to 4 p.m. It is on Zoom. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, so if you can't make the event, you mm -hmm. can catch it on Zoom. Exactly. Nice. Absolutely. And so it includes um, our very first Calaveras County Poet Laureate, uh, Conrad Levasseur, reading his poems. And then Linda Torin, who is a really amazing poet. Apparently she writes amazing haiku. I love it. Um, so she'll be reading from her new haiku book. Kevin Arnold, who is a poet and a novelist, uh, reading from his no, new poetry book, Exploring Alzheimer's, which that, that would be interesting. Really interesting. Mm -hmm. Just because it's such a delicate, delicate De disease. Delicate and delicate and subject to yeah, even talk about, Exactly. Right? And then to have poetry based off of that yeah. would be really fascinating. Yeah, for sure. And then Monica Rose, um, she's reading new poems from her upcoming book. And then Poetry Out Loud students uh, from their state competition will be reading what their favorite poems. I like that, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's very, very cool. So go to Manzanita Arts Emporium online. Okay, so it's just uh, a Zoom event. It's just it's not a Zoom event. Okay. Yeah, so, um, or you can call 728-6117 to find out more about this event. But I Perfect. think it would be very cool to Yeah, do and I that. think they also have an event coming up 
soon, right? Uh, they I think they have a live writers, event. Yeah. yeah, they have the Gold Rush Writers And I think that's in May, which we'll get to that. Okay, <laughs> is it in May? I think it's in May. I'm not 100%, oh, okay. but I think there's something that I saw, um, but I have to refine because I was like, I think it's I think it's. Because they had to put it bit. off. Yep. They, you know, they had to, to cancel it and then set it into a <laughs> yeah, another have, time slot. So, yeah, because, and writers, man, or Manzanita Writers Press, they do a lot of writing workshops in. Oh, no, they um, do. They do. A lot of things for local writers, mm -hmm. which is, uh, especially for a creative community, it's nice it's to kind of get around really good. like minded people mm -hmm. and have, um, I don't know, just kind of keeping you on deadlines and. Yeah. Yeah, um, just absolutely. having fun and getting coffee. <laughs> and, yeah, and getting to know people who are like you, right? Yep. Getting to know other creatives. So that's always uh, a wonderful experience. So you're not out there just creating on your own. Yep, exactly. <laughs> um, I do have another fundraiser. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's going to be on Friday the 29th. Um, it's for the Amador Polar Bears, um, and it's a rib night. Oh. So you come get ribs. So that's another different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, different, different mm -hmm. dinner. Um, and it's a barbecue, yeah, it's barbecue dinner. Okay. Um, it's at the Lafton Ranch Event Center, so that's pretty much right where Rayleigh's is, oh, right next to okay, there. Oh, okay, right around there. Um, which they've been doing a lot of events, mm -hmm. um, because I always go to Rayleigh's and they always have something going on, something a wedding going on. or oh, really? some kind of fundraising. Wow. Yeah, so it's a neat location. Hmm. Um, and it looks like it's $40 per person. Okay. Um, and they will, all the proceeds go toward the Amador Polar Bear Swim Scholarships and Equipment Upgrades. Oh, um, so, wow. Which is really cool because, I mean, That's it, really it's good. a really cool program. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you want to get in contact with Sally at 209-337-5302 for more information, give her a call. And, um, yeah, and they will have a rib dinner with live music, raffle drawing, side auctions, and all again at the Lafton Ranch. Cool. That is really cool. So it should be a lot of fun. That would be. And then in Tuolumne County on April 30th, um, the Tuolumne County Sheriff's Community Service Unit is uh, promoting and honoring Tuolumne County first responders. Yay! Which is really cool. Yeah. That's at the Mother Lode Sonora Fairgrounds from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And they're just asking people to come and, and um, thank, you know, the law enforcement of fire and EMS and hospitals and all of that. Um, and they will also be there to provide information and demonstrations to the public. Which is awesome because you it's really don't cool. think about the people who do the groundwork and who no. actually are there for, especially for like first responders and accidents yeah. until you're actually in an accident. Absolutely. And then you, yeah. because otherwise, um, and then without them, you'd you be, don't get it. Yeah. You, yeah. You're in really Really, really bad, bad situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really, really is necessary just to keep them, I mean, to thank them, to appreciate them because it's not an easy job. Oh, not even um, close. No. Nope. So that is a, sounds like a fantastic event. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also have this Saturday at 12 p.m. is the Buena Vista Ranchuera Miwok Indians Spring Dance. Oh, cool. Um, so, and they said just come in, join them on their spring dance. Mm -hmm. And it is at, um, in Ion at the Coal Mine Road in Ion, um, Saturday at 12 p.m. So, oh, wow. yeah, I'm trying to see if there's a, a little bit more, a little bit more information on it. But, but you can find that information on Facebook. Um, uh -huh. It's pretty much and underneath the events. But kind of come out and yeah, yeah, hang and, out. yeah. Enjoy yourself out. There's so many. There's just so many cool things there to do. There really is. <laughs> <laughs> and we try to hit them all. <laughs> we really do, and it's hard because like we skim, we we don't skim it. We we find it and locate it. But there's uh -huh. so much more that happens in the county that we I think we're just barely scratching the surface. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And then um, we also we did mention this before. Uh, this is a Zoom virtual training actually for the, for the Rural Domestic Preparedness Consortium. And it actually provides opportunities for people um, for planning, actually, nice. for, for domestic preparedness for mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, I'm thinking whatever can be actually whatever, as we have seen, right? Oh, yeah, From exactly. Who would have thought to, uh, we've lived through what to we've lived snow, through. snow, <laughs> to the, the pandemic, to mm -hmm. this, to that. So if you're, you're interested in um, learning more about this national preparedness, 
Um, it's, it's actually sponsored by the Calaveras County Emergency Services. It's from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. on April 28th and April 29th. And you can, let's see, contact uh, John Osborne, who's the department head over there at uh, Office of Emergency Services at 754-2890 or Osborne at co.calaveras.ca.us for more information. And there will be one other, I believe, actually two other trainings that are like this as well. So uh, we'll talk to you about that. See, there's another one coming up on May 3rd and 4th, Fantastic. and I don't have the other one open. <laughs> but there's one more coming too. So uh, make sure you get in touch with our Office of Emergency Services in Calaveras to participate in that. And you, I mean, again, it comes down to is until you go through an event that needs planning, you don't even know you, don't you, even need, know you need it exactly. until you, you go through and you're like, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to plan this out. Yep. And then when you get to those situations, you're thinking, you're just thanking yourself that you yeah, actually that you followed actually through did and did it. it. Yeah. And this will keep you on track, get your deadlines, yeah. and kind of kind of group it in. How do you organize that? Yeah. Because that's such a huge it's process huge, and to huge. walk it through, mm -hmm. especially then, when you're not an organized person. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> so this is something that I would definitely be like, yeah. oh, this and could help me. The different parts of the community who come together mm -hmm. to serve the public, they have to be all organized with yep. one another, not only within their, their organization, but between their organizations yeah, exactly. as well so yeah and it's yeah it's, it's I mean it should be a really cool workshop. Yeah, yeah and it sounds like there's so. multiple multiple times so if you miss one you can definitely hit the other one yeah up. for sure um May means May. Mother's Day it's Mother's coming, Day is up. coming up so yes. um you, we have spring up in the hills which is happening this Sunday um May 1st mm -hmm. and it is a pre Mother's Day outdoor market um from 1 p.m to 5 30 p.m and it looks like they have like music, shopping, jewelry, a whole bunch of vendors, um, candles, clothes, plants, soaps, foods, and art, and much, much more. Wow. Um, and it's at the Copperopolis Armory lot um, on Main Street, Copperopolis. Oh, um, that should be nice. It, yeah, and so it's bring the whole family out for a fun full day of shopping and eating. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can grab a Mother's Day gift. Um, wow. Which should be a lot of fun. And again, it's by mostly local vendors, so... Yeah. You can't really find it. You can't go to Walmart and be like, yeah, I'm going to buy you this. And then <laughs> there's no uniqueness yeah, to it. So. No, yeah, absolutely You're not. You're definitely going to find it at an not. event like that. But you can contact them at 209-718-0369 um, if you do want more information on the Spring Up in the Hills. Yeah. There's, uh, there's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Mother's Day, like it really is. It's coming up crazy fast. how fast it comes up. Yes, it yeah. is. It just mind boggles me that we have gotten. Yeah, already. Yeah, in May. already we're already in May. We're already, yeah, we're already. <laughs> we're already there. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's like okay. Um, and then also on May third, we have the drive-through chicken dinner fundraiser. Yes, chicken, and chicken. we've been talking about this for a while. Yes. Um, so I'm hoping everybody has went and yeah, called them up, got it tickets. going. Um, but if you yeah. haven't yet, the, I, but I'm hoping the tickets are still available. Yes, you can get are. them at the pick and are they are still available? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, at the pickle porch and Angel's Food, um, and then. ACRA board members um, and you yeah. would pick up your food at 430 to 630 at the Attica Park kitchen yeah Utica Park or Utica yeah that's okay um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and again that's on Tuesday May 3rd tickets are $50 each um, and the meal serves four Yes, which you it's cannot, a lot of food. Cannot be. It's beat. a lot of food. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're like, oh, <laughs> for for fifty bucks. I'm like, yeah. you can't go to the store and get that anymore for a family of four. No, no, you can't. You can't at all. And um, I'm like looking ahead actually to the farmers market, which is another ACBA event as well, mm -hmm. and that actually. Well, as we get closer to farmers markets, they have wonderful ones in Tuolumne mm -hmm. and Amador as well. Yep, so and we'll, I think the Sutter Creek one has already began. It has it already mm -hmm. been? And I think okay. it's every third Tuesday, um, but we'll oh, okay. double check that. Yeah. Every third Tuesday, I believe, mm -hmm. um, is the Sutter Creek one. Okay. So they are all popping up on yeah, the farmers slowly, markets but and then Calaveras yeah. grown. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we're just going to have a lot of local, local yeah. food to forks. Mm hmm. Food to forks, food. yeah. And again, um, to prepare for Mother's Day, which is May 8th. Is it May 8th? 
May okay. 8th. I need to double I check believe that. so. I believe it is. <laughs> Sunday, May 8th. Yes, yes. Um, uh, one of our favorite places, the Amador Flower Farm, mm -hmm. is going to have an amazing Mother's Day event. So uh, make sure if you even love daylilies or just love getting out there, um, it's free to go in, kind of spend the day at the farm. It's a free tram ride and a tour, and you can get a daylily for your mom. I, I love mean, it. And daylilies are like one of those amazing plants up here. Mm -hmm. You just put it in the ground, yep. and it grows, and then it grows Comes some back. more, and then it <laughs> grows some more. Uh, so if you don't have them in your yard yet, you should get some. Yeah, because they, mm -hmm. they're definitely very, very healthy plants mm -hmm. up here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we will find more Mother's Day events uh, because <laughs> because there will be a lot of them. There's going to be a lot. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Acra is also putting on a trivia night, um, mm -hmm. and it's twenty dollars per team, which is two to eight people per team. Wow. Um, and it asks you, are you the smartest in Amador? Let's find out. Um, that's a pretty <laughs> hard question. Um, and it happens every first Monday of the month. So it was going to be on April, or May 2nd, um, mm -hmm. which is actually my birthday. Oh, so, May 2nd. <laughs> May 2nd. And it's from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, in wow. Sutter Creek on Main Street. Um, and Sutter and Creek's such a nice little It town. really is. It really is. It's like we talked about before. It's like... Stepping back in time. It's stepping back in time. Yeah. It really is. And they're going to really have appetizers, is. drinks, special uh, drink specials are available, raffles and great prizes. And you can give them a call at 209-223-6349 if you are interested and want more information. Okay. Um, and it's at the Sutter Hotel. Okay. Or the Hotel yeah. Sutter. Hotel Sutter, yeah. Um, <laughs> One or the other, you'll them. find it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, go to Sutter Creek and ask and they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll be like, there you go. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Over there. So, um, and then jumping ahead just a little bit is uh, Saturday, May 14th. You'll want to put this on your calendars is the Junior Frog Jump at Utica Park and Angels Camp. And it is a feeder, a feeder frog jump into the Frog Jump Jubilee. Oh. So the winner of this actually goes to the fair. Oh, wow. So that is very, very cool. So that's from 11 to 2 down there in the park, and it's always a good time. And this is the first time they've really been able to come back since the pandemic. Well, yeah, that, that would really make sense. do things. And so it'll it'll be it'll be really fun so make sure you put that on your calendar well yeah and pick out your frog and pick out your frog <laughs> and go, go out to those little ponds and find yourself a frog yep absolutely oh man i still can't believe it's almost here it's just oh it's, it doesn't seem like we have even touched 2022 and yet we're almost, we're almost in the middle. In, yeah, yeah, we're almost in June. I know. Well, four, we are weeks, stepping a little bit ahead. Yeah, five I'm weeks. I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, so, we're five weeks from June. <laughs> we're still in April. We're still in April. We're still yeah, in we're April. We're still in April. So, so, but we're 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 telling you to remember things in, yes. in May. So, and another one of those is actually uh, the women of Calaveras are having a 2022 conference. Oh, cool. And. Um, I started talking about it, and here it is. And it's called Women Supporting Women. It's in Valley Springs on May 14th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it really is all about women and women in business, mm -hmm. supporting each other, encouraging Which each other, and coming nice. together. So it really is, and especially finding that community and yeah. helping one another and getting coffee mm -hmm. and, and getting coffee and getting and coffee, and coffee and a little bit yeah. more coffee um, <laughs> is always a good thing. Yes, um, especially when you are. Yeah, when you're in the business field and oh yeah, yeah, and trying and you're to just busy. You yeah, know? exactly. So and it's hard to having those those get out. connections. Yeah, really exactly. Nice. Especially like kids, they go to school. Yeah, and they make their friends. And I was talking to my sister about this, and I'm like, as an adult, it's really hard, it's hard. to find <laughs> those places where you're like, okay, I want a friend yeah, to go have coffee friend? with. <laughs> but where do I find the friend? Where do I go? Where, where do I, I go? go? Yeah. And so events like this really is. Yeah. Meet because you go and you you know there's like-minded people mm -hmm. um, and you can go and socialize and especially if you're looking at it as business business yes, aspect absolutely you know you're going to a professional um, an atmosphere. atmosphere and mm -hmm. and mingling which yeah. is good it's just neat that, that these yeah. things happen yeah so you can find them on Facebook the Women of Calaveras and then you can find out all the details about that particular conference which is very cool 
And then we have a green waste drop off. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's free and it's on um, April 30th. It's from eight to four and this one is in Tuolumne County. Um, so you have to be a Tuolumne County resident um, to do this one, but they have them. Um, so they're gonna do it on April 30th, May 12th, um, May 28th, wow. okay. June 9th, June um, 18th. Mm -hmm. And um, so you, there's no commercial um, haulers or businesses, it's only residents. Mm -hmm. um, so you can, and you residents can make multiple trips um, oh, cool. on the program dates of, um, and it's no charge, mm -hmm. which is always a good thing. Yes. <laughs> you just have to have a, either a government ID or a valid proof of residency. And I'm trying to see what they take. So they have vegetation, mm -hmm. um, clean uh, garden waste, um, pine needles, um, lawn trimming, small trees, bushes, limbs, wood chips, and woody material. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so it's pretty much anything that kind of grows around you. Yeah. Which yeah. is nice. Which is... So just clean up your lot yard and go drop it off. Yeah. Yeah. Since I don't think we're going to be allowed to do burn piles for no. very, very long no, year. especially I haven't it, seen anything come through, but yeah, no. especially with how dry it's going to be. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that one rainstorm was nice, but it's not going to be it's enough. It's not going to be enough. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And especially with our past, everything right now is oh, so dry. Yeah, yeah, that for sure. we definitely burning is going to be scary. So yeah. use <laughs> use these programs for local green waste and yes, absolutely and things like that because it's it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse for sure. No. So it's um, I'm like looking, yeah. And then we did find a very cool program that's coming up. And yes. We wanted to kind of touch base on this because okay. summer is right around the corner. And um, if you guys have any teens or youth and you're busy and they are looking for a way to kind of get around, um, Amador Transit is doing a summer program for um, youth and it's $40 for the whole summer, which is mm -hmm. from June 3rd to August 10th. Yeah. And it is, they, it's an unlimited rise for the entire summer break. Um, for um, in-county bus routes, uh -huh. um, and I think it's Amador County, but it's yeah. um, you can go to the Jackson and Sutter Creek pools, par parks, libraries, visit with relatives or friends, bowling, rec activities. Mm -hmm. So if your youth is trying to get out and about and you're working yeah. or can't uh, drive them, then 40 bucks unlimited rides. That's you can't. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> you can't go wrong, <laughs> especially with the price of gas, right? Exactly. You know, and it's safe. It's safe. Yep, and that's what I was reading safe. something where they're talking about the transit system is mm -hmm. like it's super super safe yeah. and way safer than driving in the car. Yeah, and I think it's only a dollar if you wanted to ride, just call just them up and go. And go. Oh, okay. And for the price of gas, I'm like that saves yeah. you so much money. <laughs> but if you are interested, you can go to AmadorTransit.com, um, and they also all the buses are equipped with bike racks, yeah. so your kids can bring their bikes. It's very and cool. We've actually. Um, the bus system up here is so much better than it used to be. When I moved into Calaveras County, there was no bus system. Wow. Yeah. They used to have one, then they stopped it. And then they... And then they started again. Which is nice because especially for people who don't drive. Oh, and yeah. for people who don't want to drive. Absolutely. And for who people who want to save money on yeah. gas. Yeah. And it's one of those nice things where mm -hmm. you can just call them up and they can come grab they you. They can come get you. you or get you your stuff done. The, yeah. yeah. Cancel, and then, mm -hmm. then they bring you back. And it's, and it's nice. It's good. And it's, it's good. very, very, yeah. very reasonable. Yes. Um, for sure. For sure. And um, actually, we have a lot of art stuff happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say stuff. I should say events. <laughs> art events. So um, the Calaveras Gold Art Show at the Calaveras County Arts Council. Um, uh, business. I wouldn't call it a business, but storefront. Whatever you want to call it. A gallery. That's it. There That's we go. There we go. Gallery. <laughs> Um, is going to have their reception on Tuesday, May 3rd from 5 to 7. And this particular show is very cool because it celebrates any and all artistic endeavor in Calaveras County. Nice. So if you have a photograph that you like, it reflects That's Calaveras cool. or a painting or whatever, you can, you may still be able to get it in to the show, actually. So that is amazing. Yeah, because yeah. I, I mean, art you usually think of paintings, but there's so many different mixed media. Oh yeah, absolutely. Had, um, to have an art show with all of that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, so that is is coming up and then there's also the um, and I want you to put this on your calendar. I'm looking at the music in the parks. Um, oh, they yeah. are already planning that, so they, they haven't come out with a press release on it yet. But um, Plan ahead. Plan ahead, because and those Wednesday nights are really, really fun, and they mm -hmm. take you to all parts of the county, yep. and it's designed that way. so that And you, you can can't be see parts of your county that you may be not yeah. see anymore. You and know. you can't beat the Mother Load nights, uh, no, like the summer no. nights. And yeah. It's and Amador so County great. has its TGIF, mm -hmm. so they have their Friday night. And Tuolumne, I think theirs is on Thursday. So I you have can to, just bounce around. Yeah, if and you like. During yeah. the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, and then also, Mr. Frog's Wild Ride is returning mm -hmm. to Feeney Park in <laughs> Murphy's um, on Sunday, May 7th. And um, it's actually a bicycle ride. A cyclist cool. ride around uh, the area mm -hmm. and it benefits Feeney Park. So go find out about it at uh, Mr. Frog's Wild Ride at gmail.com if you want more information. Mm -hmm. Which you can't, I mean, again, it comes down to the weather's getting nicer. Yes. Um, yeah. A bike ride out and about. Yeah, you can't mm -hmm. go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. And then we are going to touch base on this one more hour again mm -hmm. because, I mean, it's always good to plan ahead, yep. especially yep. if you have any puppies or kittens. Mm -hmm. um, they have the uh, free dog and cat rabies vaccination and microchipping um, mm -hmm. clinic, which is happening May 14th. Um, so it is in the middle of the month, so we do have plenty of time. Yeah. Um, it's from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. But again, it gets super, super busy. So it if you does. do plan to come, um, either, I don't know, kind of plan it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it is at the government center here in San Andreas. Yeah. Um, and it's a drive through So yeah. like we said before, is they use drive, you bring your pets, put them yeah. in the car, drive up, you tell them what you have, and they direct you where you need to go. And then they do everything within reason or within near your car. Yeah. They um, just say go here for microchipping or go here for the rabies shots mm -hmm. and they take good care of you. Yep. So. Uh, make sure you put that date on your calendar. Yep, exactly. And plan ahead. And we are share, or we are airing yes. a little tidbit on on the process that happened on um, April 9th. Yes. So if you do yeah. want to kind of see and kind of get an idea of how to handle it, yeah, what it's um, like, you, can, you, yeah, can, exactly. you can see it on Channel Seven, and you can see it on our YouTube channel as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I think actually we have have we hit everything. I think we hit everything that's. That's just, just we're, within, we're trying to keep it. Yeah, because like, otherwise we can go week, on. We can go on for hours. hours because <laughs> there's so much. So if we, it, but we have other events that are definitely coming up, especially yeah. like Mother's Day. Yeah, um, absolutely. But um, for everything, I think we've touched base on everything for that's this, happening. Yeah, week, for this, week, this yeah. week. For this week. So, um, yeah, make sure that you plan ahead for Mother's Day as well. Mm -hmm. Look around yourself, and if you have any events that you know of that are coming up, um, make sure you tell us. If we yes. haven't talked about them, you know, contact us at calpig7 at gmail.com on all, all our social media sites, which mm -hmm. seem to be a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, you can contact us on all of those. And just let us know if you have an event that you want us to talk about. Mm -hmm. And then so. we will keep doing our search, too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so you enjoy your week mm -hmm. and uh, what's happening in the mother load, yeah. right? That's right. Yep. And we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, see you All next right. week. Bye. Bye. -bye.